Meanwhile, our southern border. I've been there twice, Dan. It is an unmitigated, embarrassing, unforgivable disaster. And Democrats, as Cenk said earlier, have to wake up to the truth. The more we ignore it, the more we pave a path for Donald Trump to return to the White House. Because you know what? He's actually listening. And I think it's time that Democrats do. And I'm afraid that President Biden is at a stage where he has lost the ability to legitimately listen. In fact, where is he? I know he probably couldn't be here today, but to tell the country that he will not debate a single time in a Democratic primary of such consequence, that's perhaps the biggest point of differentiation, differentiation between him, right. Cenk, Marianne, and me is showing up. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I gotta tell you guys, videos like this are exactly what I mean by the best way to red pill a liberal, a Democrat, a leftist is to give them what they want, okay? Because... The only way that they can see that their ideas and their policies are bad is for them to experience their policies and their ideas. And then at that point, they'll see, OK, well, this is bad, right? I shouldn't support this. OK, and that's essentially what's happening in this video. As you have Joe Biden's challengers in the Democrat primary. Yes, there is a Democrat primary, even though Democrats are trying to pretend like they're not really having one. Um, they are essentially now coming out and arguing that Trump should remain on the ballots and they're actually trashing democrats and joe biden uh who are trying to remove uh trump from the state ballots based off the 14th amendment okay and the reason why they are defending trump being on the ballot is because they realize that the precedent that democrats are setting with trump is the same thing that is being used to keep them off of ballots right so again that's what's happening here the so-called democrat party ain't democratic right and again these challengers of joe biden are speaking out against it because they're currently being banned from state ballots uh because democrats are essentially trying to rig the primaries for joe biden right they don't want any competition despite the fact that most of the party including uh, the voters want a different candidate, right? They don't want Joe Biden. His approval rating is in the tank, okay? The guy is getting heckled and called a loser uh, when he's walking around in public, right? I mean, the guy is probably the most unpopular president in history, right? I'm just saying, okay? So with that being said, I want to react to this Democrat forum uh, that is being held by News Nation that Joe Biden decided not to show up to because, again, he doesn't believe he has to campaign because it's already in a bag for him. So let's go ahead and get into it. But before we get into it, we have to have a word from the sponsor of this video, Biotrust. Were you like thousands of Americans this holiday season and ate just a little bit too much? If your New Year's resolution is around weight control, you can rest easy knowing that the rest of America is with you on this journey. Nearly half of Americans say that their New Year's resolution is weight control, fitness, or physical health, making it by far the most popular resolution for New Year's. There is a magical pill only for weight management control that I recommend and use. It helps control appetite, manage weight, reduce fat, control cravings, and increase energy. It essentially uses a unique nutrient that is linked to reducing body fat, body weight, and reduce weight circumference while increasing lean muscle mass. Plus, there are no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives to hold you back on your health journey. This solution, along with proper exercise and diet, has helped me in my fitness journey this holiday season by not gaining any weight despite uh, the holiday food, but actually losing weight throughout the holidays try it today for a whopping 51 percent off this new year's plus receive free vip live health and fitness coaching for life two free new ebooks titled top 10 foods that burn belly fat and top eight exercises to reduce belly fat a 60-day satisfaction guarantee and free shipping order this today before the offer ends by going to trimwithpatriot.com that's trimwithpatriot.com Calm. We're back with the three Democratic candidates that the DNC doesn't want you to hear from. We're here because we believe voters should decide who they want to represent them and not a national committee. And yet most Republican voters would say the same thing, that they want to decide who to vote for. 
And yet the Secretary of State in Maine and Colorado, among others, are seeking to keep Donald Trump off the ballot, citing the 14th Amendment and his role in January 6th. So, Marianne Williamson, let me ask you, do you think that Mr. Trump should be kept off the ballot? Now, before she answers this question, I want to say this. Shout out to News Nation. And the reason why I say that is because although they are a mainstream liberal media outlet, right, um, they are an upstart outlet. And I do think that they are what CNN was attempting to be uh, back when they had a uh, different leadership that wanted the network to be more neutral, but they're doing something that the rest of their colleagues refuse to do in the mainstream liberal media, the CNNs and the MSNBCs of the world, which is to one host these uh, Democrat competitors against Joe Biden and point out the hypocrisy of the Democrats when it comes to the whole, Oh, we need to save our democracy message, which is literally the only message that they have <laughs> going into the 2024 election that an abortion um, those are the only two things they have, uh, which is why the mainstream liberal media won't talk about it, right? They won't talk about the clear and obvious hypocrisy of what's happening in the Democrat primary in which uh, Joe Biden's competitors are basically being banned from ballots because the Democrats don't want any competition, okay? Again, they're literally overthrowing democracy in their own primary while campaigning on, hey, vote for us, <laughs> vote against Trump because he's a threat to democracy. If the mainstream liberal media actually covered it, they would quite literally be taking away the Democrats' biggest talking point going into 2024. That's why they don't cover it, right? So again, shout out to News Nation for, for doing this. You know, he has not been convicted of the crime of insurrection. He hasn't been. And so for a judge to just opine on this, I, I think it's very dangerous. The people who love Donald Trump are going to vote for Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. We could indict him 91 more times. He could be in prison. People are going to vote for him. Anything we do to try to obstruct Donald Trump, this is not the way we're going to win in 24. We're going to win in 24 by offering the American people a better life, yep. by cutting the cord with an aberrational chapter of American history mm. that has denied most people the promises of democracy. Mr. Uger, same... We will beat him on the issues. Mr. Let us not beat him in court. Mr. Uger, same question. Do you think that Donald Trump should be kept off the ballot because of the 14th Amendment? Yeah. No, I don't. Uh, I, I think the the voters should decide whether it's us in primaries being put on the ballots or Donald Trump in a primary or a general election being put on a ballot. If we think democracy is on the line, we should actually participate in democracy. democracy. We should support democracy. Now, but I want people to understand the 14th Amendment is a complicated uh, issues in both Section 1 as it applies to me, Section 3 as it applies to Donald Trump. Well, and let the courts decide that. Let's and be clear on with regard to you, right? You were born in Turkey. That's right. Um, and so there's a question about whether you're even eligible uh, to to run for president. Well, there is no question. He's not. Right? He's not. He's not eligible to run for president. But see, again, the problem here with Chank is that there's a lot of hypocrisy, okay, on his part, because essentially the same logic and reasoning in regards to what's happening to Trump to keep him off the ballot uh, is the same logic and reasoning keeping Chank off the ballot, right? Which is the argument that, well, you're not constitutionally eligible so therefore, we don't have to allow you on the primary ballot because even if you won the primary, uh, you wouldn't be able to hold the office of president of the United States. OK, again, that's the same argument being applied to Trump, except in Trump's case, it doesn't really apply because Trump, like Marianne Williamson, admitted uh, he has not been charged with the crime of insurrection or even convicted. OK, now, again, Chank. Just a few months ago, before he decided to run for president, when they were trying to pull Trump off the ballot uh, because of the 14th Amendment, uh, he was all in on it, right? He was all for it. Turns out it, uh, this January 6th was an insurrection and it has been legally adjudicated to be an insurrection. Who led the insurrection? Was it Stuart Rhodes, Rando Bob, Walter Mondale? No, it was obviously Donald Trump. So. The reason they had this in here is because they didn't want the Confederate uh, traitors to come back in and take over the government. Well, we don't. I don't want this traitor who did this insurrection to come back and take over the government because he doesn't believe in the American government. He doesn't believe in democracy. It makes perfect sense to apply this. To me, that isn't the question. The question is the politics of it. So it can make all the sense in the world, but. If the, you know, for whatever reason, the group think of the establishment goes, oh no, I don't think you could do that, then they won't. And, but right now it started on a good footing because 
it's right wingers that are bringing it up within the establishment. So people are taking it seriously. If progressives have brought it up, no one would take it seriously. So that's a positive step forward. Would the Republicans lose it? Yes. Yes, they, they would. I mean, they would go apoplectic if he was disqualified. So, oh, and I will tell you this there's one thing the conservatives are right about. You cannot do this state by state. If you do it, like, because technically, uh, you can call for different states to disqualify him, mm -hmm. but then we're gonna have a hot mess on our hands. Remember, she always on the other foot. Republicans will turn around and go, I don't like the uh, Bernie's hair. Uh, he's disqualified. I think he's an insurrectionist because he's a commie Marxist, okay? Yeah. And I then we're gonna have a mess. We can't do that. Yeah, so it turns out that Jank uh, uh, was actually the guy that would be disqualified, not by Republicans, but by <laughs> Democrats, right? Who are arguing that based off the Constitution, uh, he's not allowed to be on the primary ballot. Uh, therefore, we're gonna disqualify him. That clip is amazing for so many reasons, right? It's amazing for so many reasons. Again, this guy, before he decided to run for president, was all for this, okay? And now this same argument, the same argument that he supported to keep Trump off the ballot, which by the way, in that clip, I didn't play the whole clip, but in that clip, he also falsely stated that people were convicted of an act of insurrection, which did not happen. Nobody's been convicted of an act of insurrection. Um, but again, that by that same argument, okay, the same logic is being used to keep him off the ballot. Now, all of a sudden, oh, well, this is a little bit different, right? Oh, I, I'm not sure if Trump should be kept off the ballot now, right? Because it's being used against me. Again, the difference is, is that the 14th Amendment doesn't apply to Trump because he did not commit an act of insurrection. January 6th was not an insurrection. <laughs> but you quite literally are not qualified to be president because you are not a natural born citizen, right? You're not, okay, you're, you're, you're just simply not eligible. Uh, the 14th Amendment does talk about um, no person except a natural born citizen or a citizen of the United States at the time of the adoption of the Constitution uh, shall be eligible to the office of president, neither shall any person be eligible to that office who shall not have attained to the age of 35 years, et cetera. So what is your argument as to why you should be eligible? Yes, so that's Article 2, uh, Clause 5. The 14th Amendment amended that, and it says all persons born or naturalized have due process and equal rights. And the way that American jurisprudence has gone so far is that the 14th Amendment's Equal Protection Clause has protected protected classes, that is race, gender, gender uh, orientation, and national origin. Title uh, VI of the Civil Rights Act protects discrimination based on national origin. Do you think it would be discrimination to keep you off the ballot? 100%. It's unconstitutional based discrimination. We went to district court in South Carolina. The judge said it was one of the best argued cases. It was a really close call. We're appealing to the circuit court. And Dan, every civil rights case is won by repeatedly saying, we demand equality, we demand equality until the courts give it to you. Me, and that is exactly what's going to happen. Congressman here. He's going to keep losing, right? He's going to get keep losing because a vague application of another amendment does not overturn something that is explicitly prohibited by another amendment, right? I mean, this is, again, this is just nonsense, but let's carry on. Phillips, uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. had run as a Democrat. He's now in an independent. He's polling at a serious 15% or so, so far. As someone who supports ballot access, do you support his run as an independent? I think any American who desires to run for public office should have the chance to do so. And I want to answer two questions at once. You just asked about Donald Trump on the ballot. I was trapped in the House chamber on January 6th. I'll say the quiet part out loud. Donald Trump inspired an insurrection. Every one of my colleagues in the Senate and House know it. We tried to prosecute him and we failed. Do I think the Democratic Party should pursue legal channels to beat Donald Trump? No. The same way they shouldn't pursue the same channels to keep us off the ballot. We should let American voters be the judge and jury. And as it relates to RFK Jr., he has every right to run. He's listening to people better, frankly, than I think the president is. And yes, he should be able to access the ballot. He shouldn't have to spend 10 to $15 million to be on the ballot for someone getting that kind of support. No more than any of us have right. to spend millions to do the same thing. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right, it's absolutely amazing listening to these people, right? They're up here making arguments that they otherwise wouldn't be making if it wasn't for the fact that they're running for president. So now all of a sudden they have to defend Trump, right? They have to defend Trump because the same methods the Democrats are using to pull Trump off ballots, they're using to pull Democrats off ballots that are running against Joe Biden. <laughs> Bro, you cannot make this up, okay? 
2024 is already off to a great start, right? It's already off to an amazing start. The hypocrisy is so stunning here. But this is what I try to tell you guys. You got to give them what they want, right? It, it, again, the only way that Democrats actually can acknowledge that a precedent that they're setting is dangerous and understand that, hey, we shouldn't do this is when it's used against them. This is why I try to say Republicans are weak, Okay, the fact that Republicans don't use the same precedents that Democrats set against Democrats is why Democrats continue to do what they do and to get away with it, right? The only way they learn is when their own tactics are being used against them. Otherwise, they're just going to keep doing it, right? Otherwise, they're going to continue to set dangerous precedent out of after new dangerous precedent and nothing will change. They only change when you give them a taste of their own medicine because you just saw people like Jake Yogurt was all for Trump being pulled off the ballot because he never thought that it would be used against him. The tactics that they're using to pull Trump off the ballot, he never thought it'd be used against him. But Nan is being used against him because he's trying to run for president. Oh, now all of a sudden you, you don't want Trump to be pulled off the ballot anymore. Again, ain't it amazing how that works, right? Ain't it amazing how... That works. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.